So for today, we're going to be looking at the Paragon Greaves. This did get asked for not too long ago. If you guys want to see your exotic in the videos, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely get started on it. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a lot of people come to my channel actually do not subscribe. So do me a favor, just subscribe now because I know my content is worth it. Uh, if you guys want, hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content because I do post quite a bit of content for just fashion alone. Like not even kidding i've been posting non-stop for a while now and it's been like minimum like two videos a day granted one of those videos is a short but a video a day is pretty rough for me so let me know what you guys think other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be looking at what it actually does paragon strike all shoulder charge abilities seismic strike hammer strike and or shoulder bash Deal bonus damage when activated in the air. Damaging mini bosses, tormentors, or champions with your shoulder charge refunds your melee. Oof. Provides a small benefit to airborne effect instead of all weapons. Why? It doesn't even do anything for weapons. That's such a weird thing to add. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so weird. So that's pretty much what it does. It just basically makes all of your shoulder charges like do insane amounts of damage to the point where it's actually a one-hit kill in pvp most of the time um damaging mini bosses tormentors and champions uh gives you refunds your melee is super cool i'm just wondering if it has a like like a like a cap is it like okay you can only do it twice and then that's it there is no it doesn't say a cap so can you just keep hitting tormentors as much as you want with your shoulder charges that seems excessive. Um, definitely usable in high end activities, I want to say. I say it like that because like still getting into melee range is a little scary. But to be fair, like I still have that mindset of like the first time um, the that one nightfall from uh, Dreaming City was available. I forget the, the that one's called, but i still like have me like memories of nightfalls like specifically gms being that hard so i guess i just have to get that out of my head because i don't think they're that hard anymore like they're pretty simple so maybe this can actually be viable in uh in like gms and shit. as for how it actually looks unfortunately i can't really say they look cool and this is not even what you think like oh it's the crystals right like yeah i guess some of it is the crystals but a lot of it is just like the design of the armor as well like I personally am not the biggest fan of the boots, uh, specifically like all the way at the bottom, the, the feet. Um, I just think they look too scrawny for everything else. And honestly, just put in like my favorite thing about it is it literally just they just look like Tim's, but like with <laughs> with an armor piece on the on the top and then like a wing at the back. And then they just called it there. They're like, yeah, that's it. That looks cool. Right. And it's like no <laughs> you just look at regular shoes with like added things and that's like my favorite way that bungie designs stuff this is from year one so like or destiny one so i kind of have to give them some slack but just know that if you see this type of boot in an exotic or armor i'm gonna make fun of it because it always looks funny to me um that being said yeah it definitely is the crystals or whatever they're the blue things are the turquoise things i'm not the biggest fan of that either um the other thing is and this is gonna be such a weird like nitpick but i'm not the i'm not the fan i'm not a fan of like the like close to the ankles you guys will see the the blue uh the blue crystal on the left side it almost looks like there was supposed to be one on the left side as well but it got taken out um it just looks weird it just looks very very weird it looks it almost looks like they're like I have supposed to put like a battery in there somehow and it just it just bugs me. So that's really it. Um, how it actually shaders, like I said, it shaders how exactly you think it would. Uh, terrible. None of the blue crystals change color. That being said, I've seen some people do some cool things with it. And I do have two example sets to showcase, but I don't really have nothing add to add to this. It's just the blue crystals don't change color. So I'll be right back after all of the colors are done. As for the example set, I'm going to be honest with you guys, 
I don't know what came over my head with this one. Not saying it looks terrible. I actually think it looks pretty decent. Um, my only thing is like I would switch some things around. A, I would switch out the shader. The shader does not go well with this. I don't know why I chose this. Um, and it's funny too because I remember like when I made this, I was like, "Ooh, I'm cooking," and I'm like, "I don't know what the fuck I was cooking," because like this, the shader not it, dog. So I would definitely switch out the shader for something else. Um. I think that's be that'll be it actually. Like I think the shader is the only thing that's like, oh, that's weird. Other than that, I like the gauntlets of the great hunt. I think that spikiness adds to the spikiness at the bottom. Um Sunstead Helm, I like it with the sun the Solstice Plate Resplendent. I think both of them look really well together. And then the Nightly Noir, because obviously I'm going for like a night look, I guess. Or not night, but like close to that. Um, yeah, I would probably just switch this out for something a little bit more D1 inspired. That would be way easier than this because like this looks really strange. As for the next example set, this one is also weird, but I at least combine it with colors that went with the boots. So Avalon Teal is what you're going to want to use for this because Avalon Teal is the green, almost blue green that goes with the bottom, which is a no brainer. And then Gift of the Nine for the boots because Avalon Teal changed it to weird colors, which I didn't like. So this one I'm going for a tactical look, which is not bad, I guess. But it's just for me personally, I've seen people do some really cool sets with this. And I didn't have the heart to like copy them because A, I don't like to like, I don't like to take people's stuff. I mean, granted, I would give them credit, but it still feels like I want to do my own thing type of thing. So for the helmet and arms, Dark Age is what we're using. For the chest piece, Sunbreak Plus, Sun Sunbreak Plate, and then for the boots, Thunderous Impact Mark. So nothing too crazy to talk about for this one. Like I do like how it looks. Granted, like it's weird because it doesn't. I feel like it doesn't go well. If I if I really wanted to like do something cool, I would have probably used the the phenotype plasticity chest piece for the titans like obviously um that would have been really cool with some more pointy bits in there so that way i can really go in with the pointy bits but i was like people are gonna expect that so that's probably why i went with things that didn't go with peregrine greaves i decided to do something a little bit different so titans let me know what you guys think about this one i don't think it's terrible mind you i think some of these pieces are really cool i like where my head was at for some of these um because the first one i just need to change the shader that's really it second one i actually don't think it's bad um i think the only thing i would change would probably be like add some pieces that have a little bit more spikes so that way it goes well with the boots but other than that to be fair this is another hard exotic that you guys have to go through to make it look cool because not only is it really spiky it's really skinny um it also personally doesn't look that well great to me and the blue crystals like or the blue green crystals like that's gonna be the biggest problem for people so i would just tell you you can either lean into it which is what i would do specifically avalon teal remember that shader is really good for this or you can just completely ignore it like i did in the first one and it's just gonna look weird so titans let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later